Are you visiting Tenerife and you want to know the best hikes to do on the island? Well, there are so many beautiful ones, but in this video, we'll show you a few of the best ones and we'll take you along with us. So let's just start walking. The sun is out. It's amazing. Welcome to our video on the best hikes in Tenerife. Tenerife is known for its beautiful landscapes and there's no better way to exploring them by hiking. From easy nature walks to challenging mountain treks, Tenerife has something for everyone. In this video we'll take you on a tour of the island's top hiking trails and show you some of our most favorite and breathtaking views. Whether you're an experienced hiker or just looking for a leisure stroll, these hikes are a must do for anyone visiting the island. So lace up your hiking boots and let's hit the trails. So the first hike we're doing is the one from Punto del Hidalgo down there, all the way up to Chinamada, which is a 4.5 kilometer hike. It is a moderate hike, I have to say. It is a lot of uphill, a lot of climbing. There's a lot of rocks on the road, but it's beautiful. And we'll show you as we venture our way up the hill. is a steep climb but it is beautiful nature the cacti the plants the rocks the colors the value that you're walking through you don't have to be afraid of heights because you are walking on a small path next to a little canyon but it's actually okay if you don't do anything weird but really beautiful really beautiful Bring enough water, you'll need it. And they have these little caves everywhere on the route, so if it's sunny out, it's really nice to have a little chill in the middle of your way up in one of these caves out of the sun. Perfect. so much about hiking is that you just completely forget about everything else actually you're just there in nature enjoying nature and watching where you have to put your feet and everything so you're like completely focused on that and just enjoying where you are at that moment that to me is maybe the the best part of hiking I think and of course discovering this beautiful nature this is so gorgeous <music> So for this hike there are two options. You can either go all the way up to Chimada, which is about two and a half hour, two hours, two and a half hours, really steep climbing. You can also do half of it and then you'll get to two miradors, which are two viewpoints, which takes you a little bit over an hour, an hour and 15 minutes I would say, and you have this beautiful view. It's amazing. You can sit here on the rocks, enjoy a little lunch or something that you brought along with you. But you can also decide to go two kilometers more up, but it's a steep climb. So for us, we stayed here because we also have to do some other activities today, like star gazing and everything. If you decide to stop here, you also have to go down, which is also an hour, about an hour. So either it's a four to five hour hike or a two to two and a half, three hour hike. We took the three hour hike and we loved it. But let's get going to another hike here on Tenerife because we told you this is the video with the best hikes. <laughs> Definitely also check out our best food video because if you've done this hike, you'll be hungry. So check out that video on our channel and subscribe for more Tenerife content here. But I'm going towards a second hike now.
So another hike is the Chinchero Trail. And this is a loop trail. It's about 5.7 kilometers long and it will take you about two hours. This is what you call an easy hike. It is a fl rather flat surface. It's not a lot of climbing like the one that we did uh, for the Chimada Trail the other day. This is beautiful as well because the landscape is totally different from the first trail in this video. This is all volcanic landscape with pine trees and it will just take you on a walk as if you're walking on the surface of the moon, which is really exciting. So we'll show you a little bit, we'll take you along. Also, if you want to, you can extend this loop with another loop, which is like making it an eight, then it will take you four hours. Let's just go. <laughs> Come to the Chinero Trail, you will first have to walk the white path and then you'll get to a crossing. And there the sign will say which way to go. So don't worry if you like, because in the beginning we were a little bit confused. <laughs> You're like, where do we need to go? Just follow the big path and then you get to a crossing in about in a few minutes. And there you'll be shown where to go. <laughs> at the end of this hike beautiful totally different mm -hmm. from anything else that we've done so far it also has like like two sides or so mm -hmm. like one you're walking more like in the moon landscape and like the lava field and mm -hmm. on the other hand you walk in this beautiful pine pine wood pine forest. and you're walking all around the volcano that actually caused this whole area which is also beautiful to just see up close and yeah, it's a really nice walk. I can really recommend this. As and it's really, really doable. Yeah, easy walk as well. Two hours, awesome. So I've said it before, but we are giving you three totally different landscapes to hike in. And this is the third one, which is the hike, the trail of Las Vueltas. You have to drive all the way up to the Anaga Rural Park, Anaga Forest. Type in on Google Maps, Las Vueltas. I will link it in the description box as well. And look at this, follow the path. It is magical. These trees hanging over you, the moss growing everywhere. It is completely different from the volcanic landscape that we were in yesterday. I love it. So let's walk and um, we'll take you along with us and check out what we'll see. So the Las Vueltas Trail is um, easy going down. But then of course you have to come back up as well. And especially on days when it's a little bit wet like today, it can be a bit slippery underneath your feet. So wear good shoes. So I would call this a moderate hike, I think. The way down, perfect. Way up, climbing. But you can always decide to go halfway, right? Because it's a one-way trail, it's not a loop trail. So you can just do whatever you fit necessary, you feel necessary, and uh, make that your hike for the day. And there are another, a lot of nice other smaller hikes here in the Anaga Forest, like the Path of Senses, which is a little bit down the road before you get up to Las Vueltas. So you can also decide to do that. And you'll have the same nice area. So you can do actually whatever fits your needs. So I 
already talked about the Path of Senses as an alternative. This is actually a really good alternative also if you um, want an easy hike or if even if you're in a wheelchair there's an option. There's a loop for one and a half hours that will take you to two nice viewpoints. So that is also a great option for if you want to have an easy hike here in the Anaga Forest. That's it for our three favorite hikes here on Tenerife. We showed you three completely different landscapes. We loved it, it was amazing. That's what you get here on Tenerife. You get everything that you wish for. It's not just volcanic landscapes or desert, or it has everything here. So come to Tenerife, you will not be disappointed. Check out our other content on the channel, best food to have, where to stay, north or south of the island. Just subscribe right now, promise me that. And we'll take you on more adventures all around the world here on the channel. And we especially love stuffing our faces with food all over. We have some awesome destinations coming up. So check out those videos soon on the channel. I'm enjoying this walk. I'm continuing here on the Las Vueltas Trail. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.